in the comment section of the last video one of you guys asked for me to make a video about all the books that i used in the period of my j preparation and in this video i'm gonna do exactly that but before I start I want to give out a huge disclaimer that I do not claim that each of these books are extremely essential for J nor do I claim that someone anyone doing these books will absolutely clear J clearing J and using some particular set of books is a totally subjective matter which differs from each and every student. I clear J with this book does not mean you can clear J with the same books as well but it's good to get an idea of how many books and what you exactly need. So with that being said without further ado let's get started. <laughs> And I will have a special book recommendation for all the students who are extremely interested in physics or who are finding it hard to understand all the conceptions and go deep into physics. And another thing is you can find the links to all the books in the description below. In this video, I'm not just going to cover a book, I'm going to also cover practice books, revision books and the online test series I take. So starting off with the more theory type books, before we go into this, you need to understand something about comfort zones. You can be in a comfort zone with a particular book means like suppose you can solve AC Varma problems really easily, you are getting like 95% of the problems in the first try and if you just keep doing AC Varma, that's living in the comfort zone and nothing great happens happens inside the comfort zone so what you need to do is step out of it do not get comfortable with any book if if you are really good at solving AC Horner problems move on to Sengage if you are good at Sengage move on to IE Erodolf maybe so starting off with physics the first book will obviously be AC Burma you start with this and again this is your first book and if you are finding yourself really comfortable with solving the problems of AC Burma then move on to the next part don't just stick with it give that up and go to Sengage. Sengage actually has different parts for the different topics in the whole syllabus of 11th and 12th. So start doing that. I completed the whole AC Verma and Sengage myself and when you get comfortable with Sengage too, you can move on to much higher books like IE Erodon. I got more or less comfortable with Sengage at about the second half of class 12th. So then I moved on to IE Erodon and I eventually ended up finishing it. Next moving on to chemistry. The first thing you gotta do is NCERT of chemistry, mostly for the inorganic part and uh, you can also try a very popular book named Concise Inorganic Chemistry I guess by J.D. Lee. If you really want to do J.D. Lee, it's better to do this version of J.D. Lee Concise by Sudarshan Guha which just includes the part of J.D. Lee which are involved in the JE syllabus. And another important thing is you don't need to complete the whole J.D. Lee book. What you need to do is get a printout of your syllabus of your syllabus and with and with every subtopic open jetly and look for the subtopic only read what's in the syllabus from jetly don't go overboard about it unless you're really in love in inorganic which is kind of rare now coming to physical i did only uh Sengage part one and part two of physical i found it to be pretty much enough because physical chemistry is more about calculations it doesn't really matter which books you do now coming to organic chemistry for organic chemistry i did not have any specific theory books because the theory was pretty well covered in my tuition so i did not go for a theory book there i had a practice book which is an essential i used to use ms johan it's a really good book for organic chemistry but I do not recommend it for class 11th. It's more of a good book for class 12th. That's just my thought. If you can solve Ms. Johan problems in class 11th, totally go for it. For maths, I just did Sengage and Bio Sharma. Again, Sengage has different parts for different topics of the whole 11th and 12th syllabus. There is algebra, trigonometry, calculus, coordinate geometry and vector in 3D. Those are all the parts, I guess and i just completed all those you can also find all the theory in those books and for pure practice at the latter end of the preparation i just solved some bl sharma and there is another book i could not find right now that is new pattern of Sengage. that is a really good practice book for the end session and that almost wraps it up for math now what comes next is some practice books these are mostly from institutions their final materials so 
so i did not touch this for the first three quarters of the two years of preparation and this was mostly used in the last quarter of my preparation that is like the last half of class 12th that is, this involves vgsp or vibrant g success package and resonance rank booster fit g gmp and dpp from our hand i could not bring the all the dpp to my table these are too many books i feel like i really did not need to do all this i would have been good with just vgsp and razor rank boosters but it's totally up to you up next are books for quick revision the books that will help you go through all the conceptions and topics really fast before your examinations those are my favorite eye hunt handbooks they have handbooks for physics, chemistry and maths. I could not find one at the moment. Another really important thing that needs to be memorized are named reactions and reagents and reactions of organic chemistry. And for that, I used a book called Reactions and Rearrangement and Reagents. I started it from class 12th and it played pretty well. Another thing you need that I say in almost all of my videos is short notes which you really should make i can provide you with my short notes if you really want to see what it's like but it's really essential and it will be really beneficial if you make your own short notes and lastly coming to online test series the only test series i finished from start to end were ellen and resonance i also had my pet from fidji and that is available to every fidji student i was actually enrolled in fidji in class 11 and 12 but i did not go to any classes i just gave the test i i mean i really emphasized on my self-study sessions and how many hours i could study on my own because that is really important that is what's gonna get you selected so that's about it that's almost everything i did for my j preparation for the last two years all the books the practice papers the revisions and that online test series i also had my coaching sheets which i mean if you go to any coaching you will also have your coaching sheets and study material i did not solve any coaching study material i just did the quizzes and the tests i just emphasized on that but what you want to do is totally up to you do not follow what i did blindly because it is a totally subjective thing and it changes from student to student and i also have a book session for the students who are extremely interested in physics like i was and want to go deeper into the concepts of physics anyone who is finding it hard to understand all the concepts and the relations of physics you can also try this you do not need to complete the book i just like the theory of this book i read it for fun because i was so that much interested in physics it's called sears and zimanski's university physics and by no means get scared by the name university physics you it's almost the same thing you guys study just it has it is more vast and more in depth it's really helpful for clearing your conceptions and understanding the topic and if you find this video even a little bit helpful please share it with your j aspirant friends it might help them a little bit that is the whole goal of my channel i just want to document my journey and share my experiences and the lessons i got from my life which can possibly improve some of others life in the slightest way and that's all this channel is about and i also want to document my journey i like making videos if you like this video please give it a like if you did not like this video feel free to leave a dislike and consider subscribing if you want to see more of my life and if you want to see my experiences throughout my life more integrately you can follow me on instagram